All right, Libra, welcome in. How you guys doing today? This is for you. Whenever you see it, these are weekly readings, but also fairly timeless. I'm not really dating them. So if the if the title if the title means something to you and you're here for it, bring it. All right, let's see where we go for you. Um, I'm going to be talking a lot more about a major portal that is happening next week on the 17th of July, Monday the 17th. That is definitely a big deal. Um, it is a grand cardinal cross. And what that means is that we are being asked to start some things and being given the opportunities, but they are, they kind of look like obstacles. They're opportunities, but they kind of look like obstacles. All right, so I'll be talking more about those on the morning messages. If you're new here, hello, welcome in. If you've been here for a while, hi, thanks for coming back. All right, orphaned, I've been getting that card frequently, serendipity. See, that's what I'm saying, message in a bottle. Okay, so this has been taking a long time to get to you. I see a phone in there, but this is also in a bottle. Like how long does it take when you, every time I see that in a movie, I'm like, how long is that gonna take? I'm gonna put that message in a bottle. How long does it take to get to, get to the shore or whatever? I feel like this is the thing that I've been talking about. Like you're having something really good happen, but it looks like an obstacle. And I want you to remember that, okay? That there's some good things happening, even though it looks like, not a little sketch, but like, uh, like something isn't going to happen. If you think something isn't going to happen, I'm telling you it is. It just... Um, it comes in work clothes. What What's that saying about like uh, productivity or something is opportunity and work clothes? I forget what that is, but there's something like that. Okay. And um, not productivity, um, whatever it is. It's an opportunity and work clothes. Okay. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right. Underneath the world, the Knight of Cups. The Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and healing opportunities. This person may show up like the Knight of Pentacles again. Look at that. There's justice being balanced. Things are being balanced. I feel like you come uh, toward a person or toward a situation with a uh, hope in your heart. Um, I think there's a new opportunity here. And I think you see that it's better for you to be aligned with this person coming in as the Knight of Pentacles instead of coming in as the Knight of Cups. So there's something about that. I feel like there's work to be done. This person may have just left behind a situation. They may tell you about that. I think they need a lot of healing. And so it's best not to kind of come at this person. So you may feel a little sad about this. They're like, oh, I thought I was going to get an opportunity here. But the opportunity still exists. It just is showing up in a different way. It's showing up in terms of, this is bugging me. I'm going to do this. Hopefully it stays. Okay, that's better. <laughs> um, it's showing up, and there's your card, Libra, to keep you balanced as it relates to this person. I feel like you might have a very romantic feeling about this person. I think there's good reason for that. I think this person is a romantic potential a romantic partner, but they've got some work to do. Okay. They've got some healing to do. So don't freak out. Four of Pentacles, the devil energy, high priestess, the page of cups, the ace of wands. Wow. Tower, eight of wands, lovers. Okay. The dam's about to burst. Ace of Pentacles. Yes, it is. Masculine, feminine. Yes, it is. Okay. So the dam's about to burst here. And um, I feel like this person is hanging on for dear life to something that is really super toxic for them. If you, if you are doing this, if you are holding on to something that is too small for you, I feel like you're going to get a face full of the universe saying, why are you doing that? Okay. Why are you doing that? Why are you hanging on to something that's too small for you? Um, you could be hanging on to friendships, relationships, that make you feel like you're, this person, this is not the same person. This is a different situation. It's another opportunity where you kind of now know. I feel like you're more in the know. I feel like this is something new coming in or this is something you're not seeing coming in yet. This is, you're more in the know 
right? You're in the know of when you're dealing with somebody who's keeping you small, you know it, okay? And I do feel like there is a, some kind of energetic change here, like within this week, Ace of Wands is one week, and this new opportunity comes in quite small. There's something that's connecting these two, and it can be um, that this person is dealing with the same lessons you're dealing with, with a, another partner, or you're dealing with getting rid of a job or a, or a relationship that has um, not given you back nearly what you've put in. Not nearly. And yet you're still defending it or you're still defending this person. You're still like, yeah, I'm still here. I still want to do this. Um, no. No. And all of a sudden, like, it just dawns on you. and good luck comes in. The messages come in. The messages are coming in like, oh, this is how I'm supposed to be seeing this situation. I'm going to turn this off. It's a little chilly. A little chilly. So the Ace of Wands can also be an olive branch. It can be this person extending an olive branch. Let me ask about the tower. What is the tower here? Five of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Star, hermit. So I'm noticing that the, the tower is right beneath the high priestess. And then the ace of pentacles is here. And I feel like this is like a, Oh, an aha moment. Oh, I thought these were kind of random. I thought these were different situations. I thought these were just obs uh, obstacles. No, they're super duper opportunities. So you getting a chance to see a relationship that is a, a positive give and take, even though this person is healing, um, I feel like you're healing too. They're healing from a situation that was lousy at give and take. So are you, okay? And I almost feel like you're having a similar kind of experience, even though for you, it may show up in a job or a friend. For them, it's in an ex or a partner. It's the same lesson, okay? That's why it's like, wow, high priestess and hermit. You guys are coming to the same lesson at the same time. Wow, okay? Um, you may not have understood or seen that other people were taking advantage of your good nature. You may not want to see that. Because what I feel like in the past is you may have just blocked yourself off from all relationships because you just assume that everyone is taking advantage of you. It's like everyone is taking advantage or no one is taking advantage. Um, and everyone's great, right? Like there's that. And I just feel like you're starting out something new. I like the world card, the completion over here, the person that is coming toward you, Virgo, Gemini, more Virgo, Aquarius, Cancer, Capricorn. Um, so Libra, um, next Monday, we have the nodes, the lunar nodes, south node moving into your sign, the north node moving into your companion, your opposite sign of Aries. The lunar nodes are about karmic pathways. And the lunar nodes, since they go in retrograde, are at 29 degrees. They don't start out at zero degrees. They start at 29 degrees. And so that anoretic degree is a karmic degree. So there's a lot of energy on that day. The same day at 29 degrees, crossing over that in Capricorn and Cancer is um, Pluto is in Capricorn, 29 degrees. Cancer, new moon, 29 degrees. And it looks like these are obstacles, right? It's a grand cross or a grand square. I can't make this square, but like a grand cross or a grand square. And what that's saying is in terms of astrology and astrology speak, it's that these are seemingly challenging kind of experiences that are bringing you to your highest self. And so ultimately this relationship or this situation that had made you smaller brings you into a bigger representation of yourself because now you're getting it, this aha moment 
All right, this aha moment is showing up super loud. This is also like an olive branch or like a beginning, new passionate beginning. Once you kind of forgive yourself, I feel like this person who's coming in with the same lessons, although it looks different, it's a different packaging of the lessons. Um, Pluto opposite the Cancer New Moon. Pluto is about massive change and transformation. This is Pluto Tower. Okay, the lower, the higher octave of Mars. Um, Pluto represents Scorpio, and that is transformation and change. And it threw sudden shocks, sudden changes. This feels like it's been coming along for a long time. This feels like it's been coming along for a long time. And, you know, Pluto and Capricorn, it's like the, the, the thing that's being asked of you, Libra, is like, is this really working for me? And I think that's what this other person is asking themselves to. Is this working? And there's some kind of aha moment. Like maybe you've been gone from it for a while or maybe you've like went on vacation and you've come back and you're like, oh, no, this is not working for me. <laughs> oh, no. Or you've been um, on vacation with a spouse or on vacation, something about vacation, uh, and you kind of see things in a different light. You're like, this isn't working at all for me. Why am I still doing this? So there's an opportunity in that. And we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. And I really like this because it's saying to me, like, I'm no longer going to be dealing with anybody who is kind of shady, kind of sketch, kind of um, not doing their work, just trying to keep people small, jealousy, um, envy, what you name this, the sin, this person or this situation has tried to perpetrate it on you. And now is the time for healing the eight of pentacles and the star card. I really like that. And becoming the hermit hermit high priestess, you guys are working parallel, um, healing paths. Okay. And in the next week, I feel like they'll cross that 17th the, the July 17th, circle it in with big red pen on your calendar or in your phone. Do something with your phone. Um, the Eight of Wands, you get a new choice and a brand new beginning here. Eight of Wands. This could be with a twin flame, a brand new beginning with a twin flame, because this is Archangel Michael and these are uh, lovers. So, and that is a choice. Love is a choice. Four of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacles, Fool. Okay, brand new beginning, World in the Fool. We're not, we're not staying in this anymore. This stuck energy. Neither one of you are staying stuck in this energy. This might even be you seeing yourself in a past life doing it because South Node in Libra is all about past life. South Node is all about past life. And so when we're connecting... If you have a person, a twin flame usually has some kind of, uh, in astrology, the twin flame connection usually shows up in somehow related to the south node, your south node, their south node, uh, or the ascendants, because both of those point to past lives. And so there's usually some kind of indication of past life together, Venus square south node. Jupiter conjunct ascendant, like something like that. And I think with serendipity, it can be Jupiter energy. There can be some Sag energy here I'm seeing. Sag, uh, Gemini, like I said, Virgo, Aquarius, Cancer, Capricorn. Those are opposites. Um, more Virgo here. So Libra, I'm not seeing your opposite yet. Aries, I'm not seeing that show up, but we'll take a look in the extended, we'll see where we go. And I really feel like this is about a karmic moment in time, a karmic cycle coming to a close and a new, a new beginning happening. So we'll keep diving in. We'll go deeper in the extended. The link is in the description box. We'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, Check out these videos.